Buster. Awesome to talk to you. It looks like you're fresh off the course too. How's life, <laughs> man? <laughs> yeah, good to be on with you guys. What's up, Fraz Kratzy? Well, what's up, brother? What's up, man? All, great, all well. great. Um, Tell me, what are you up to? How's, how's life going? Retirement life? I know you got little ones, so you're probably scrambling all scrambling all over the place, right? Yeah, man, life's life's good. I'm uh, I'm enjoying the the carpool lane uh, most mornings, picking them up most <laughs> days. And I love it. I really do. I enjoy that time uh, with them on the way to school and back. And then got two, two and a half year olds. So it's, it's busy times in the, the Posey household right now. Are you the first in the carpool lane? Like, are you that guy? Are you that dad? Or are you, are you one of the last ones? Because this is a big thing. <clears throat> yeah, I, I I'm, I'm feel like I'm going to be judged for my answer one way or another here. You are. Um, you are. I, I definitely tend to get there later and I make them wait until the traffic clears out. It's good for them. They need, they need to wait, you know, they need to. <laughs> I like that. I like that. And the more you're retired, I mean, shoot, I haven't talked to you on the phone, a couple texts here and there, but that accent's coming back. The more you're away from Georgia, like that accent was just kind of mellow California. Now you, I hear a little twang back in there. Is it? Okay. Huh? I mean, yeah. I'm not trying. Maybe it's just no. happening. It's just happening. I love it. It's it's cold. I love it. Hey, you missing baseball at all, big dog? I mean, I know when I when I stopped playing, I missed it a little bit here and there, but I'm enjoying retired life. How about you? You miss playing at all? Yeah, it's funny. I'm curious to hear hear what y'all's thoughts are because it's I still love baseball. Like I love everything about baseball. I watch baseball, you know, nonstop. And kind of why I'm thrilled to to be in the role I am now with the Giants because um, it keeps me really connected to the team still. Um, and I feel like, you know, even though I'm not in the day to day, still having a voice is nice. Um, but to be honest with you, I don't, I don't miss playing a ton. It just got to the point where, you know, I think we all get to it where it's like the it's diminished returns a little bit, you know, with, uh, some of the, the prep work to get ready, the pain of the day to day. And I, I hesitate saying it cause I'm just so grateful for, uh, the opportunity I had to play. Um, so you, you don't ever want to come across as, as not being grateful, but um, I'm enjoying doing some other things in life now too. How about, how about managing wise? You ever think about being a manager? <laughs> no, I, I don't. I don't. I just, I mean, you know, we, we all know the, the time commitment of that, right? I mean, that's oh, probably boy. more than a player. Um, so I, I don't. A lot of your teammates in the past have said, oh, this guy, I remember there was a poll at one point too, where they were like, who's, who's going to be the, the next manager from someone on your team? And they picked you, they volunteered you, even though the time commitment's ridiculous. Well, you know, when I played with guys like Kratz, I pretty much had to manage, you know, him on a day. <laughs> I got a taste of it when I was playing still. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, I was Buster's uh caddy for about five weeks and you know but i got to see i got to see him let's see that was 19 and did you quit in 21 21 was my last year yep 21 retired kratty you gotta get rid of that word he quit (laughs) he's a quitter i'm good with whatever he's he's, see he's and that and that's a little bit into buster like he's good with that he's good with that like this guy he has his priorities straight He's a family guy, but I remember him. I remember we were sitting at the table in the lunchroom, and my son had just hit a home run on the Game Changer app. And Buster goes, Buster goes, man, that's awesome. I can't wait till we can be home to see that stuff live. And Longoria was right next to us, and, Long- and he looks over at Longoria and goes, oh, man, you still got five years to play on your contract. That must <laughs> suck. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not and it's no way it's no way that buster's like he wanted to get out of the game he just has his priorities straight and that's something that i look up to him as a competitor as you know a teammate for a little bit but more as a man which i think is awesome no i appreciate you saying that i mean and again i mean still love the game of baseball and uh enjoyed those conversations like we all do right that's the thing i think you know we miss. I played with Frage with the Waikiki Beach Boys oh, in yeah. Hawaii, and uh, you know, got to know him doing that. But that's the part that that we all tend to miss is those that camaraderie. Yeah. Hey, talking about conversations. Do you remember when we played you in San Fran? 
I'm up at the plate, and the guy picked one of your pitchers, picked the guy off at first. He was safe, but I looked back to see exactly where you were positioned. Do you remember the story or no? I I do. Yeah, I mean, I vaguely remember. <laughs> yeah, and, and you go, you go, hey man, you can't do that. I said, why the hell can I do it? So me and you had a little argument going on there, and then we we're still talking smack to each other when I got to first base. I hope you remember that. That was absolutely hysterical. I remember telling both our agents because we had the same agents at the time, and they're like, oh, man, you need to settle this up. I'm like, no, man, we just had a heated argument. I thought that was fascinating. Did we, think we got him? him? Yeah, he froze. He froze. That's fine. But I the, was like, But the story was great because anytime you could talk to somebody, especially during the game, so I, yeah, I'm trying to get an edge. Yeah. So I, I'm looking, he picks off, so I look quick. I, I, Eric probably would have said the same. I look, he goes, yo, dude, you can't do that. I said, who the hell are you? Are you, are you the umpire? <laughs> and then me, we got in a little shot, man. We played together. Like, I know. So I got the first, and I'm like, still pointing. I'm like, shut up. Like, we're going back and forth. <laughs> hey, I mean, Todd, Todd knows he's a peaker. You, hey, he was, he was, he was a he's gonna bring habitual up peaker. He's going to bring up little leaguers on watch. Go ahead. Like this. Like stand there like this, and you pause the camera, and all you see is this. <laughs> Looking back. No, listen. Looking back. I, I was the one to helmet down real quick, and boom. <laughs> I didn't do it too often, but guess what? When, when you're struggling a little bit, I need a little edge. And also, you guys is, it, is it illegal? No, no but you're going to get Is there you, a rule that says you can't peek? Eric's going to give me a bow tie, though, next time. But, like, you see the catcher. He's looking. All of a sudden, like, he's waiting for you. Like, Eric's, Eric's sitting there. He's looking up. Like, all right, now he's set. One. To, all right, now I can give a sign. So you, there's, a, there's a method to being a catcher, which you got to understand. Like, if, he, if he's not set, I'm not giving the sign. But now with the speed up clock, you better get, you know, there's no signs given. So it doesn't matter. So I can look at the catcher the whole time. Like, hey, Eric, how you doing? Good. Did he get the sign? Good. Now let's go. So that's, that's the human element, Eric, that, you know, I kind of miss too as well. There's a couple of things like that. But, you know. Yeah, I got it. Oh, he's, is he back on? You back on, Buster? I heard it for a little bit. Yeah. We'll get I, hope he, I hope he can come back on because that's the stuff that, like, Buster hit it just a, just a little bit. He's mm. like, the pain of everything, not that we live our lives in pain, but, like, there's a there's a certain – oh, Buster's back. I'll you let him. him explain it. He has that bad internet. Man, you got to let him respond to, to Frage, though. Let him call out Frage for being a peaker. Yeah. Okay, yeah, finish, finish that. So you, you look back, and I was like – I said something like, you can't look back at me like that or something. <laughs> yeah, you, you said, bro, you can't do that. I said, I said who the hell are you? you, you you're the umpire? Like, and, then, <laughs> and then we started chatting. I get the first. I'm like, yo, Buster, shut up. Like, I guess we're going, I, we're going back and forth. And, uh, you know, our agent saw it. Like, bro, you and Buster don't like each other? I said, no, man, I love them. We play together. But, you know, I'm not taking this shit, something like that. So <laughs> that, that was the yeah. whole, the whole I ordeal. Do, like, I do remember that. I remember you getting on first, and then you were making a point to really try to peek in at my signs. Yeah, I did. You, know, you got on I first. Did. Just, I did. I just, did. Just to try to push the button. So I think I started to just, I think what I started to do is I just started to shift my legs so it was straight at you so you could just see my signs perfectly. (laughs) Because you knew you were going to throw me out at second base anyway, so it Uh, didn't matter. (laughs) That's that's, that's the shit I'm talking about, though. That that stuff, that's the stuff I miss about baseball, the talking to people, the maybe, you know, having a little edge, like, yo, dude, what are you doing? Like, that's the baseball I love and brings that, I don't know. I just love that kind of stuff because, you know, at the end of the day, me and him are friends, but still, like, we're battling against each other. I'm not going to yeah. take his shit. And he's not yeah. going to take mine, you know? And it's Oh, I mean, I think I, – I'm sure, I'm sure that this is something that's talked about a lot, and it's part of, like, what I miss about, you know, Frage, when you and I started and then Kratzy even before us, like, it was frowned upon really to go and, and talk to the other team before the game. Mm-hmm. Just because of those reasons, it's like my mindset was like, I'm trying to beat your brains and you're trying to beat my brains. And yeah, we're, we might be buddies, but right now, like it's, it's not time to be friends. And I'm like, I, I'm in your corner on that one just because uh, from a fan's perspective too, it, that makes it more entertaining to me um, seeing guys competing that way. Yeah. And I, I remember Arthur Rose, but yo, dude, yo, don't you effing talk to that guy again. I'm like, Oh, sorry. Arthur. You know, like that was how it was. You got that veteran guy's been there for years. You know, whatever he said was was bond. You don't say a darn thing back. So that's I was yeah. like, oof, all right, welcome to the big league. 
Hey, Buster, I want to ask, I'm going to steal a Kratz question. I don't know if he had it, but I want to make sure I, I get into it. Um, he asked Wainwright this question a few weeks ago, and I thought it was good. Are you a Hall of Famer? <laughs> That's not for me to decide. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> It's not for me to decide. That's an easy. That's an easy answer, and I'm done with that. <laughs> yes, for sure. For sure. Kratz, you, you three, answer it. You got three votes here. Look, Hell if everybody's yes. gonna if everybody's gonna put Yadier Molina first ballot automatic, just just check out the numbers. Buster's a Hall of Famer, and like I said to Wayno, because you guys are both in the same ilk. A Hall of Fame dude, like a Hall of Fame dad, person, man, whatever you want to say. Like, yes, you're a Hall of Famer, and this is what you do when you retire, since we didn't quit. You <laughs> retire. You just say, hey, you know what? Yeah, I really felt like I had a great career. If you need somebody to sell your Hall of Fame status, just text me. But you're a Hall of Famer 100%. Absolutely. Three ring. I mean, this was going to be my question. I wasn't going to ask that question. I was going to preface it like this, okay? Now, I had to write it all down because I didn't know all of this about you, Gerald, is, okay. <laughs> oh, whoa, he just what dropped it, Gerald. Gerald? What are you talking about? What? Man? That's his name. Oh, I didn't know that. Right? Isn't that, that's the, yeah. the birth certificate yeah. name? Who, yeah. would, who, would call, who would call you Gerald the most in the clubhouse? And it made me laugh every time. Uh, Craw, Bell, Longo, they loved it. They loved calling me. <laughs> Craw it would didn't... drop a Jerry on me. A lot of times too. <laughs> That's Crawford would do it too because he would he would have his back he would have his back in his locker like his face in his locker and be like Jerry <laughs> and you and you wouldn't respond it was I loved y'all's relationship but anyway Gerald so this was this is my question for you and I'm gonna preface my question with some stats okay everybody listen a three point nine four GPA. A Hall of Famer in my book, a San Francisco Hall of Famer, Rookie of the Year, three-time world champion, three no-nos behind the dish, and another one at first base, right? Or were you DH in that game? Yeah, I was at first on that one. Yeah. Did you make the final out, too? Did you catch the final out? Yeah, I think Timmy I, – I can't remember. It was thrown to me. I don't remember where the ball is. It might have been hit to second base. Or did you or did you catch Timmy? Which was it? Did, is that when he jumped in your arms or I don't remember. That was uh that was in San Diego. The last out was to fly ball to left field. Yeah. Okay. 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 So now hang on. High school state champ, correct? Mm-mm. No. Lost, lost. It. Jason Hay Jason Hayward's team got us ooh, in the finals. Ooh. Yeah. Lee County, that one Lee still County hurts. lost. Okay. That one hurts. So that one hurts. Is this a question or an interrogation? I want no, to know no, what the damn is, question is, is. And you're missing some MVPs and gold gloves and all that, too. I have to preface all of this. Okay. A pitcher, first baseman, turned catcher so that you could go and win the Golden Spikes Award in college. What is your least desirable trait? My wife's listening right perfect? now. She can come answer, probably. <laughs> well, tell her. Bring her on here because you guys got your Toyota commercials. You guys do those together. You can come on foul territory together. <laughs> I'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to see. She looks like she might take a nap right now. <laughs> but what is, your, what, is the, what is the one trait that you're like, ah, man, me as a person, I'm just – because on the outside, people are like, they see just the statue. You know, your statue needs to be next to Willie McCovey's. And – you know, what part of the stadium are they going to name after you? The backstop? <laughs> well, I assure you, I have plenty of traits that are not desirable, um, like, like all of us do. Um, you and I have had those conversations, those deeper conversations before. Um, there's no doubt that uh, none of us have it all figured out. And uh, just trying to do the best we can, right, especially as, as uh, parents and uh husbands and just trying to be leaders of, uh, leaders of the family. So, um, yeah, Kratz, I appreciate you throwing that out there and, and making me uncomfortable right now. Yeah, that was the point. <laughs> hey, let me get back to baseball. So, um, first off, there's a ton going on in the sport right now. It's changing. Um, what do you think about the rules right now, current that have been swapped around, um, like the pitch clock, the shift, all that. And then the one other, um, portion of this, because I think it could be coming next year even, is 
is the automatic ball strike system, which obviously affects catchers quite a bit. If they end up doing the thing full out, framing would look very differently. So what do, what do you think of the way that the game is evolving right now? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've always been in the camp of, of tweaking and trying new things. Um, and maybe people would be surprised to hear that because, yeah, I mean, I've loved baseball since I can remember. But, but I also think, like, you look at other sports and you look at, like, I think about great golf courses, um, like historic golf courses in the United States. The bones of them stay the same, but a course like – Augusta, if you look at the history there, they're constantly trying new things, trying to, to make the course, whether it's, uh, I mean, it's all about fan engagement, right? And I think that's what's been so great about these rules so far is I don't think I've heard anybody say that they dislike watching a baseball game more now. So um, I, I'm so far in the camp of let's, let's, be, uh, let's be really bold in – trying new things and guess what if it doesn't work okay then then kick it to the side and and you know you might take some heat for it for a little while but i just think you always got to be forward thinking and trying to improve the product and uh <clears throat> it's been i've really enjoyed watching the games the last uh you know whatever it's been a week or so now the to answer your question about the uh, automatic strikes i'm i'm, a, I'm not 100 sure on that but again i just said you got to try it um, I loved the interaction. I loved my position and the interaction that I had with the umpires. Um, I think it probably was an edge for me and our team because I know from buddies that I played against and got to know over the years, it would annoy them when they saw me, you know, talking to the umpire or whether it's just questioning or, you know, building that relationship. There's so much psychology that goes into, um, the catcher umpire relationship that I think some of that would be lost. Um, you know, if you do have the automatic strike zone, but again, um, I'm up for, for trying new stuff. Can you run us through the Hunter Strickland and Bryce Harper story? Exactly what went on before this, before the incident, because the video looks like you let him go. And I know what happened, <laughs> but I want you to, to just preface it and exactly show, you know, that you're still there for your boys, but it was a different situation. And it, we're removed many years from it, so now's the time. Yeah, I mean, I want to be careful. I don't want to – those are, you know, as you know, Kratz as well, like relationships that you make with your pitchers. Um, even though I'm not playing still, I want to make sure that I'm not going to throw anybody under the bus. So I, I, I don't think uh, – I think you can read between the lines enough that I don't have to fully say what went on there. Um, I definitely, definitely have Hunter's back and consider Hunter a friend. Um, you know, that was just un unfortunately a situation where um, there was a little bit of personal history there. It wasn't even about uh, something team oriented and uh, yeah. Unfortunately, it got a little bit sideways there. And the bad thing about those, too, is, you know, Mike Morse and uh, Samarja collided, and, and Morse really didn't play much after that. I mean, it, it banged him up pretty good. Uh, that's fair. It's a good call. That's the stuff sometimes you don't get to, to really digest is, like, there's injuries from that, you know? So it, it grabs national headlines for a little bit, but then guys get hurt. Let me ask you about San Francisco. So – what do you got going with the club? How are you making an impact? And also for SF fans, like where, where do you think the team's at? I know, you know, they've gone after some big players past few years, like Bryce, Judge, whatever, and they, they pick where they want to go. So what do you think about the status of the Giants at this point and their chase to get back to, you know, being a, a really a, the dynasty team, the last big dynasty team, I would say. You can make maybe a case for Houston getting – deep into the postseason, winning a couple World Series now, but San Francisco is the every other year status going for a little bit, and it wasn't that long ago. Yeah, I know. It doesn't feel that long ago, but, you know, we're almost 10 years removed, I guess, from the last one, uh, which is hard to believe. Um, I mean, I think for me, I'm, I'm hopeful that, you know, you can, do, you can do the best you can on the free agent side to try to get guys to come in. Like you said, Scott, guys ultimately are going to choose where they want to go. Um, and that's the beauty of being a free agent. Um, 
man, I'm just hopeful for the San Francisco Giants that we have some young players, some really like impactful young players, um, understand the opportunity that's in front of them because it's a city that's just really hungry to attach themselves to a 22 to 25 year old that is going to be inserted in the lineup and multiples, you know, multiple guys that can be in the lineup every day and, and that they can have on in their, you know, living room, watching them play 160 games a year. Um, and I think, you know, that's, that's what we had from, you know, Timmy and, and Kane coming up and, uh, you know, you inserted the, the free agents with that young talent myself and craw and uh, panic and belt and then you know brian wilson it's just a, a, a ton of homegrown guys and uh you know it's 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 a i can't speak to what it's like when you go to a different team um but i feel like there's there's a different type of allegiance uh that people have with the club that you know, drafted him or signed him as a, you know, international um, free agent. So I, I, that's my hope is that, that we can have some, some great young talent come up. Um, a fan base can, can attach themselves to that talent. And uh, then, you know, other free agents around them can uh, just form a, a, you know, next championship team. Are you, are you part of that whole free agent, like, courting process? Are you, like, did you meet with Judge or who else, you know, the – the Correas, is that kind of part of your role? Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't do anything in person, but I uh, was on the phone some with them, uh, uh, text calls here and there. But uh, <laughs> my recruiting uh, record, even as a player, is not great. So I'm, I'm kind of a little <laughs> bit uh, – I'm kind of like, I might need to just stay out of this. <laughs> What's the pitch, though? What, what did you guys say or, or talk about? Obviously, Aaron's a great dude. Anyone that's, that's met him or played with him, of course. I mean, me even just covering him as a reporter, the conversations before and after the interviews. But, like, how do you, how do you convince that guy to, to leave what he's got going on? Well, we did. Um, <laughs> I'm saying, how do you try? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I think it's similar to what I was just saying. It's just that understanding uh, the San Francisco fan base. I mean, I'm definitely biased because, you know, I played there and really enjoyed playing there. Um, but I think it's like, it's a similar East coast vibe, right? Like you, you get a, you got it maybe not quite as, as tough on their own players as a New York or a Boston. Um, but a fan base is very knowledgeable. Um, and they just want, they want a winner, you know? And um, to me as a competitor, you want to go, to a place that uh, has a fan base that expects you to win year in and year out. And, and that's the San Francisco Giants fan base. And uh, that's, that's how you're going to get the most out of your guys, right? Like you're, you're in a lineup, you're in a city that expects you to compete for a championship each year. Buster, one more for you. A fan question that, that I remember, this is good um, from Nick King. He said, I love watching videos of Buster walking away on strike threes before the ump calls it. My question for Buster, did the umps verbalize strike three before we saw the call on TV? Or are you just 100% sure I, I got this? <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of both. Uh, some, sometimes you could, you could hear him, you know, hear him say it uh, before I get up. But then sometimes they're just so obvious. Um, and then sometimes the ones that weren't obvious, I'm just trying to sell it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and that veteran status, you know, like, am I right, Kratzy? Like, hey, that's what Buster he's, Posey's that's, walking off him. I think he's got it. All right, strike three. That's what he's that's talking the, about that's before. The, that's the ones that uh, the Todd father would start yelling at me about. Right <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah. I love it. Where hey, the hell are you going? Yeah, exactly. Hey, Buster, this was awesome. Really great to catch up with you in this kind of setting, too. We appreciate you coming on, man, and good to talk to you. Yep. Thanks, guys. Good to see you all.